Hi guys, Queen here, I'm back with a brand new video. So I thought I'd do one of these videos every single month where I sit down in front of my camera and talk to you guys about stuff about me, questions that you guys might have about me. Um, so if you guys have any questions for me, leave them down below. But I thought I'd talk a little bit more about myself. I did recently do my first um, Queen Talk. This is gonna be Queen Talk Part 2. So I thought I'd talk about stuff well, this in particular, I don't normally talk about it. Um, I don't show it at all in my videos. I try not to show it even if it does happen and I try not to show it to you guys. Um, but like in my videos, it might not seem like I really do have it. Um, but really, I try not to show it to you guys because I don't want to seem like I'm really weak to you guys and yeah, I'm try trying to say this you know, not the best way I can really describe it for you guys. Um, but in the past three years, I have gotten a few injuries, whether it be an uh, injury on my foot, and I recently got a recent injury as well about two weeks ago, and I tried not to show it in my videos, like I said. Um, I got a recent injury a few months ago as well, and... Yeah, so I think I'll start a little bit back to three years ago where I did get a foot injury. It's not like it wasn't really bad. It was just a minor sprain on my foot. Um, I got it three times within the past two years. Well, one year, I guess you could say within that three year. Um, two years ago, I had to actually go see a doctor about it. Um because it kept on happening pretty frequently uh, about a few months apart each time one from October another one was in January through in that year so I didn't talk to a doctor until it came to January because I thought it wasn't that bad but it kept on happening really frequently and so I had to see a doctor about it and she recommended me to have a foot brace so I wear it whenever I feel like I really think I really need it for my foot. Um, I do wear it when I dance just in case I'm taking precautions when I dance especially with my other injury that I currently got a few months ago. Um, but yeah that is one of them and the recent one that I got a few months ago is a knee injury. Uh, it was on my right knee, but it kind of switched to my left knee as well. So it's in between both of them, but it's more on my right knee. Had a lot of me bending down a lot multiple times. Um, I never got an, an injury before, and especially since I don't really eat frequently what I'm supposed to be eating. Um, my mom had me go on. A meat diet where I have to eat a lot more meat, at least one type of meat every single day, at least once. Um, so I'm still doing that to this day just so my knees can kind of get the protein that in my body needs protein as well. Because um, I don't normally eat meat at all. I'm a, t a little bit of vegetarian. Uh, I have been for a very long time. Uh, I never even knew that I was a vegetarian really. I ate like just very good healthy stuff I uh, didn't really think of myself as a vegetarian but I do eat some meat from time to time I don't eat it very often um, but I do eat it at least once a day at the least whether it be healthy protein and everything but I do that um, that's just a way for me to kind of been having to eat protein going on a little meat diet not as crazy as my dad did but a protein type of diet um and then when I got the injury I didn't see a doctor till about a month later um because I thought it would get better um it took my knee injury actually took about two months it took a month longer than it was supposed to heal um but knowing me I kept on dancing uh <laughs> Because I just love dance so much so it kind of makes my body want to keep on dancing even though I got an injury whenever I like if I had my foot injury for example I kept on dancing um, because I love to dance so much and 
<laughs> Crazy me. Uh, but my doctor prescribed me with a knee brace to wear on my knee to help a knee whenever I have to. That didn't take, took until last December to actually fully heal. Um, but yeah, I've been wearing a knee brace on my knee from time to time, especially if I dance, I wear it just in case, um, like I do with my knee brace. Just taking my precautions with everything. So that is my recent recent one that I got, but not my recent one. Uh, my, my recent injury that I got two weeks ago was actually on the side of where my abdominals are. Um, it wasn't serious. It was, I think it's just a minor sprain that I got um, because I do dance every single day, almost an hour and a half to two, two hours. Uh, don't judge me. Sometimes I do an hour, sometimes I do two hours. It's in between whenever I feel like it. So uh, yeah, that's that was something that I didn't really show in my videos. That's, even with my knee brace, I still with my knee injury, I still did videos for you guys, and I tried not to really show it in my videos, um, but my recent injury took a toll on me. Um, it didn't take until this week to actually fully heal. Uh, I just started getting back into dancing, and of course, the injury is still a little bit there, but it's being healed up. I try not to go too overboard. Um, but that is something I thought I'd bring up to you guys, and I don't show my injuries in my videos. I don't want to seem weak to you guys. I just thought I'd bring it up to you guys, especially since our recent one, I had to film, and I was in, in some pain at one point when I was filming, uh, but I try not to show it. Um, I just try and seem... Like, I'm happy all the time, um, which half the time, sometimes I'm not. Um, sometimes I just don't feel in the mood, especially with my injury. Um, last week I filmed my, I tend to pre-film my videos, and last week I was still somewhat injured, like, I was getting over my injury a little bit, um, but I still had it, and I wasn't in a great mood for it, especially having to go out and try and get some exercise into my body, um, but, yeah, I wasn't in the greatest mood last week, I, I guess, I guess you can kind of see my videos a little bit from last week, um, that is, I tend to pre-film my videos just so I can have time to edit it and everything, so I pre-film a lot of my videos, and, but yeah, past two weeks, those videos have been when I got my injury and uh, I was in some pain half of the time, especially with the first week of my injury really hurt a lot. Um, it was from the front and sometimes it went to my back as well. So uh, yeah, that was a little bit hard for me, but uh, I didn't give up. I still did videos for you guys, even though I was injured. Um, that's how much I love you guys. <laughs> so... I thought I'd talk a little bit about my previous injuries that I got over the past three years. Um, I don't show it to anybody normally. Only my family and my very two close friends really know about it. My friend's family knows about it. Um, but those are the only people that really, really knew about the whole entire injury and my past injuries, especially my two friends. Since I went to school with them, they know my past injuries. Um, but other than that, I haven't gotten, like, any crazy serious injuries where I'd have to go to the doctor, like, the ER and everything and get it checked out. Um, haven't gone that far. I've only had to go see a doctor to get a checkup about it, and pretty much that's it. I haven't gone that far other than my knee injury, my foot injury, um, and my recent injury that I got on my abdominal area. Um, luckily that wasn't too serious and I'm healing. I'm still healing, but, um, I try not to show my videos, um, but <laughs> I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about that and especially since something that I don't normally talk to you guys about and this way you guys can just see and <laughs> just see what's going on in my life a little bit, like, 
I didn't show my injury like I did. Like I said, I didn't show my recent injury that I got from two weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked my recent Queen Tog video as well as this one. And if you guys like it, leave down below. And if you guys have any questions for me, especially if you have any questions about my family, I can bring maybe my mom in on my next Queen Talk video for you guys. And maybe if you guys have any questions for her, maybe the relationship between mother and daughter, um, maybe with my dad as well. I never know. I'm still thinking I might bring my best friend in on one of my videos. Um, and see what our like our type of relationship as best friends are and maybe my other friend as well so that's something i'm thinking about um but i hope you guys liked this recent queen talk video and yeah that's what's going on in my life guys so if you guys haven't already liked and subscribed to my channel be sure to go do that and turn on that bell notification and you'll be updated when i upload brand new videos on my channel so I'll leave my social media down below if you guys go click that. And I hope you guys liked this Queen Dog video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.